Man, I really cannot. More March magic for the city of Chicago. Uh, I don't think anybody predicted them going this far. As you said, not even Sister Jean had them going this far in her bracket. And I told you guys yesterday that I thought this was going to be a really fun game to watch. And it definitely delivered the Ramblers knocking it through, beating Nevada, and now heading to the Elite Eight. Could you believe it? And now fans are celebrating. Actually, we headed out to Rogers Park last night. Fans gathered there to catch the game for a watch party. And you can see see the reaction here it didn't start off too well for this for these fans with the Ramblers falling behind early looked like the dream was coming to an end in the first but defense and some tough shots gave them a lead at the half and they maintained their cool as Nevada fought back both teams taking it to the last seconds the Ramblers hung on for the 69 68 victory over Nevada with their third straight game clinching shot we caught up with fans happy to see their Ramblers living to see another day They've come from nothing to do this. We went to the games earlier this year. The stadium was empty. But there was something so special about this team. Thank God. Now, can they get to the Final Four? That's the question that all Rambler fans are asking right now. People are believing at this point. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll tell you about their next opponent, Kansas State. For now, I'm live from Loyola. Brandon Pope, The Jam.